off. Yeah, and what I do like about Superior Esports is they aren't as afraid to kind of go outside the meta. The last game, they did have the Eudora. This game, they are picking up the Ruby. But man, we're... It is going to be what? Superior Esports on the blue Five side. Deuce Knights on the red. The game battle. two for this best Smash of three. Them. Yeah, we did see, you know, both sides fighting their hearts out, uh, but this is going to be a good match. I do like the lineups on both sides. You know, they did take that Atlas over on the side of Deuce Knights. Trying to get those Fatal Links is going to be pivotal for them to be able to win this game. Uh, yeah, it's going to come down to sets and how well. On the side uh, with the Kufra, I do like the set potential for the side of Superior Esports. You do have that Kufra with uh, being able with his sets of, and the I'm Offended from the side of Ruby. So it's definitely going to come down to how well we execute this. We do see Hendrix Loves All coming in a little bit, trying to show a little bit of force there, trying to back off Kiramoto, uh, showing a lot of uh, uh, offense here in the gold lane. Yeah, you know, we do yeah. see that a lot, basically that protection over on their marksmans, especially this, you know, early in the game, as they do want to help them get that additional farm, get a potential set to kind of change the tide nice and early and start that snowball. But, you know, this is going to be an interesting match. There is a lot more frontline uh, this time going around. Yeah, a, a lot more frontline and not really banking, like I said, on that Faramis anymore. So it's not going to be reactionary uh, from the side of Superior Esports. We're going to be looking at them to kind of choose when they want to engage here or when they want to disengage. So definitely probably going to be a different matchup for these two. Yeah, this is, the, this is a good match, even, even on both sides. Like I said, especially in this first half, it's more of a, a little bit of who can get the farm and try and take that first turtle uh, as we are going to see a possible uh, gank over on the top. Uh, will they be able to get the gank, though? It looks like they're not going to go for it. Kind of prep for that turtle pick to try and increase the gold lead. Yeah, we do see the duo down at the bottom kind of baiting out, waiting for multi rows to kind of get closer. There are only three seconds left, and it does look like these guys are in a little bit of a better position to go ahead and try to uh, start on this turtle. Both sides being very patient, though, not wanting to be the first one to make a mistake. El Sinti's going to go ahead and start the turtle. Anna's going to come in on that Ling. Only down 10%. Both teams being very careful about whether they want to start these types of fights. Both kind of poking in and out. Uh, we do see multi rows here so and we can see a little bit of a pop up there onto multi rows Hendrix loves all is going to kind of go ahead and bait out that little stun not able to really catch anybody there and <laughs> right now both, <laughs> both teams just kind of doing a little dance here uh toward the turtle dance of the turtle dance of the turtle right now is what we're seeing who is going to get that first objective but i do like the presence the heavy presence on both sides but we do see the class over there private yeah, Tom's Place does come down there, and Trix is taken down by Floor. Kings does get caught on those uh, fatal links, and right now in a good position is Deuce Knights to go ahead and take this turtle. We do see Anna going ahead and starting on it, and the rest of Superior Esports is going to go ahead and have to disengage here. Oh, Cinzi is taken down very low. multi is going to go on the chase, but not able to go ahead and clean that up, but this is definitely going to give the space for Anna to go ahead and pick up that turtle. And that's exactly the start that Deuce Knights want. You know, they want to get these nice and early objectives, kind of increase that goal lead, not play too aggressive, and just kind of feed into what uh, Superior Esports is working with. And it's looking really good for them right now, especially having that uh, turtle. But it's, it is super early in the game. Anything can happen, as we saw from last game. Just one clash at the end can change everything. Yeah, and especially right now, uh, this kind of coming into what played a pivotal role in the last game, patience. Both teams doing a little bit of a dance around that objective. Neither side really wanting to kind of fully commit, but eventually it was Deuce Knights able to capitalize on a mistake by Superior Esports. Able to get the kill. We do see a real world manipulation come down. Floor actually might be in trouble. Is able to flicker away. We do see Anna coming in on that Ling. Doesn't even need the Tempest of Blades and is able to take down Satoru. And the floor goes down at the hands of King. Uh, so now we do see multi rolls in a little bit of trouble here. We do see Kendrick's coming in. Is he going to be able to secure a disengage? He is. What a play. You know, we are seeing a slight bloodbath going on in the first five minutes of the game. But leading in kills on the favor of Deuce Knights right now. You know, we got to get it, give it to uh, Anna. Being able to see that E, being able to see uh, Satura low in HP and going and get the kill.
Ooh, Hendrix taken dangerously low. Three players from Superior Esports down here looking for a gank. Might be in trouble down there. Hendrix is going to land that Fatal Lynx. Is it going to be enough, though? Dawa trying to put on the damage. Hendrix is going to try to get away. El Sinzi taking a bunch of damage. Is trying to come in. Dawin takes down Trix. Takes the blades. Coming down from Anna and is able to get away. Kira Moto does go down as well. That is a three for none trade. This is exactly what Deuce Knights want. It looks like they're just, they're being more the aggressor in this match. They're focusing on the objectives and they're getting everything that they need. You do see Plot having two kills right now. You know, he only really needs that Demon Hunter sword to kind of pop off. And uh, he is going to be pushing in that top side as well as Anna is going in for that turtle. But she is very low in HP, forced to get a little bit of a push off. Yeah, unfortunately, just uh, with that fight up at the top, uh, and she didn't go back, so you're not going to be able to pick up that turtle with such low health or absolutely put yourself in harm's way for a team fight for something that you wouldn't be able to participate in. So very smart move by Anna, not too greedy, playing it very safe. Up at the top, though, when that first engagement happened, uh, maybe not the best play by the side of Superior Esports. Didn't look like they really had a plan for the tower dive, especially on somebody as mobile as Darwin. We do see this turtle started a little bit down to halfway. Hendrix is going to go ahead and try to zone out tricks onto this Kufra. They're doing a good job. This turtle's going to be going down soon. We do see Sinzi trying to come in, but he's not going to be able to stop. Floor able to take down Kiramoto, and it looks like we might have ourselves a little bit of a push here at mid lane. What a play over there by Deuce Knights. He's currently trying to form that snowball, trying to get the lead as much as possible, but not being too aggressive is the key. And I think after that last game, you know, playing that battle of patience is working in their favor, especially with Anna. With that low HP, she could have tried to commit to that turtle, but she decided to go back and recall and was able to get it when she came back. <laughs> nice senses by El Sinzi there. Did know that Dawin was in that bush trying to teleport away. Definitely not making it easy for him. We do see that it is about a 5k gold lead at only about seven minutes in the game right now. So a very commanding lead by Deuce Knights uh, right now. Yeah, that's exactly what Deuce Knights wants right now. And, and just seeing Darwin being able to take that top tower uh, is, is what he wants. He wants to get those additional Ooh. damage items. But the Clash going in on the top side. Yeah, multi rose does go down there. Anna thinking twice about coming down off of that ledge for the engagement. We do see them setting up here at this purple buff. I'm not sure if it's something that they really want to take. Unfortunately, caught out of position was multi rose for about four members of Superior Esports. They need to kind of keep it tighter. This it, it's amazing right now, especially. Oh, we do see a little bit of engagement coming on to Cindy. Is he going to be able to get away? Oh, he tries to come back in there, and that was a mistake. Z Darwin actually able to clean it up. We do see a little bit of engagement up at mid right now. Dawin coming in there. Satoru gets taken down. Foul closely behind by Fleur. That tempts the blades. Does come down. Anna not able to finish the job onto Trix, but does get and secure two kills at the mid lane. What a play over there by Deuce Nice. Continuing to get the advantage. Continuing to push the gap between them and Superior Esports right now. Not even 10 minutes in. They are able to take that first tower in the mid lane and also the tower up top. But you do see Superior Esports answering by taking the first tower as well in the XP lane. Yeah, we do see a little bit of a setup by Superior Esports here. Maybe going to look to counter it. We do see them all kind of come in. Kira coming down here. A real-world manipulation is set down. Turtle does go to the side of El Sinzi. And right there, Anna gets cleaned up. Hendrix loves all goes down. Darwin is down. And this is the chase. Floor trying his best to try to get away. I'm not sure he's going to be able to using that umbrella, being able to teleport there. And multi-rose wants none of this team. <laughs> and that's kind of what we saw in the last game. You know, a little bit of that battle of patience. We thought it was over on one team's side. Just one class changing everything. Now Superior Esports answering back, taking that mid tower, and also able to take the second one as well. We currently see uh, the gold kind of evened out now as well. Six to eight with Deuce Nice leading in kills. Yeah, unfortunately, now the gold has turned. If you take a look at this fight right here, this this engagement as the rest of the side of Superior Esports coming in with that real-world manipulation and able to take down three members and securing it for Cinzi there. A lot of CC there, and there was nothing. It wasn't expected by the side of Deuce Knights. You got to give it to that Kufra with that Tyrant's Rage as well. Just getting that massive set definitely helped out on the side of Superior Esports. But we do see a potential clash over there on multi rows. Yeah, once again, kind of pushing a little far on this. Might be taken down. multi rows is taken down by Satoru. Caught out again. And Darwin with that 
Blazing Duet does go ahead and teleport out. So they do get a one for one trade here, but I feel like they kind of need to slow down, take a breath and regather themselves on this map because they are being out macroed and you do see Koju taken out there, but up at the top, we do see Beatrix about to take this next tower. Dalwin is going to go try and answer, but I don't think he is going to make it. Anna coming down. He wants to make Kira pay for that tower. Is it going to be enough though? He is able to escape. We do see that all come out there, but he is cleaned up by the side with uh, Darwin and Hendrix. I feel like that was a really good trade over there by Superior Esports. Even though uh, Kirimoto was taken out, he did take that second tower over on the top side. They're continuing to push these objectives as we do see Lord spawning in. Uh, it's leaning in the favor right now of, uh, you know, both sides are just kind of trying to clash out, being a little bit patient. But I want to see, uh, you know, Darwin do a little bit more damage. He was popping off in the beginning, you know, that Blazing Duet uh, trying to go in as well. But there is a clash trying to protect the Lord. Yeah, we do see the tops of the blades coming down. Multi Rose goes down, followed shortly behind by Kings, and he is trying, but Elsinzi gets taken down. Anna is on the chase, and the rest of Superior Esports zoned out here. This Lord might be going over to the side of Deuce Knights. What an engagement here. Cindy and Kings taken out right away. We do see Fleur going down now too. An answer. Is this going to be enough? Kira goes down and uh, unfortunately uh, taking that death and not able to go ahead and take this Lord. And it looks like Anna's going to go ahead and have to disengage. Both teams going to go ahead and try to reset before this Lord comes out. What a play over there by Deuce Knights, you know, taking that Lord, you know, they needed some answers for Superior Esports as it was leaning in Superior Esports' favor, but taking that Lord, kind of getting them a little bit of a regroup, a little bit of a, you know, reset on the map. Yeah, uh, and right now, this is do or die time for Superior Esports. They cannot take another loss to Deuce Knights. This is, uh, this is not a best of five, it's a best of three, and we already have one victory on their side. So this is where they need to make things happen. We do see a little bit of an engagement trying to line up this top and mid lane. A little bit of an engagement with those Fatal Links coming down. Tempest the Blades up in the air, and down goes Trix. multi rows and go deep into the lines. I'm not sure we do see a real world manipulation coming down the rest of deuce knight is going to go ahead and disengage this lord is gonna, is going to be the first victim uh right there at that inhibitor tower what a play man but you are looking at deuce knights right now having a heavy hand they're currently up by five or seven kills and up by gold by 2000 and also able to take that second tower in the mid lane yeah, and right now it does look like there is a little bit of a problem with the engagement of Superior Esports. I mean, last game we saw when they were being engaged on, they're, they're masters of that countering that engagement. But when it's up to them to land these sets and get in on that, I feel like we're having a problem. I really haven't seen too much coming from, from Kufra being able to set these up. The real world manipulation coming down very well. Both teams with their items here right now. If you go into an item check, full a uh, set here on Claude. So we already know that he's gonna be shredding with that blazing duet. Also having that wind of nature as well, you know, especially when he goes up against that Beatrix or even that Paquito to have a little bit of insurance to be able to take additional damage without too much effect. But we are going in to the second half of the game. It's kind of even right now. I feel like even like the last game, we were pretty much in the similar situation, but it's going to be in a battle of patience. You know, they do see that Luminous Lord is going to spawn in soon. Looks like a little bit uh, from both sides of the teams are trying to get some clearance on the lanes. It is about even though, you know, even though Deuce Knight's is up in kills anything can happen especially with that atlas being on deuce knight's side being able to get that fatal links is going to be pivotal but i really want to see what is going to happen when this luminous lord spawns in do you feel like Deuce Knights have a slight advantage when it comes to pushing and trying to get reduce a little bit of engagement here? And Floor caught out by Kira and does go down, and this is going to set up probably an engagement here at the Lord if Deuce Knights even want to take the fight because they are 4v5. We do see that Trix does go a little bit wide with that pop up. Lord has four seconds left. Is this the fight that Deuce Knights want? It is a 4v5. It looks like they are zoned out. They're going to go ahead and start up on this Lord. Wow, and that's where Superior Esports needs to be right now. But we do see Atlas trying to go in for a little bit of zonage and vision. Oh my goodness, but they are able to spot out Anna. 
Yeah, and he does waste that, uh, that uh, Tempest of Blades early, so he's not going to have it for this fight. When you see the Blazing Duet come out, Kira does go down. Double this is going to be enough damage up at the top tier. Trix goes down. Satoru, that is Oh, three, my goodness. Four people, <laughs> four people on the side of Superior Esports. <laughs> this is just what you want to be able to take the Lord here. But are they even going to go for it? Looks like they're going to go ahead and kind of latch onto Kings here. We do see that stun come down. Kings not able to do much here. And wisely, Anna's going to go ahead turn her attention to this lord while the rest of deuce knights gonna go ahead and zone out and hopefully put on some damage onto this tower wow just when you think the fight's gonna go one way it takes a complete 180. we do see deuce knights going for that luminous lord now having a little bit of the aggression in that mid lane but you do see ruby kings trying to go in I'm offended comes in, but Hendrix answers with those fatal links. We just see real manipulation coming down. Flores trying his best to try to disengage there, but yeah, unfortunately not enough engage on the side of Superior Esports. They're trying desperately to make something happen here. Right now, we have the Luminous Lord marching down through the mid lane and the side lanes looking like they're going to go ahead and try to macro it up at least up at the top they're going to go ahead and wisely push that is superior esports so they have a little bit of time to go ahead and put some damage onto this lord and here we have a replay we see what happened down there multi rows deep into enemy territory trying to take him out as the lord was reset and then up at the top that kill onto tricks which started the the, uh, the the damage there for the rest of the team we do have that luminous lord in there doesn't get much value from it right now as we do have the lanes kind of far back so maybe a little bit of a misplay by the side of deuce knights not able to line up those lanes before that luminous lord came in we do see superior esports over on the defensive side right now trying to hold on to everything they got but we do see the clash going on we have the reward manipulation Blue popping down as well but the clash yeah. is not over it looks like a little bit of a pushback like you said there really wasn't much value in that play over on deuce knights even with having that luminous lord you know they weren't able to kind of secure any inhibitor turrets for the most part uh so we are going to see a little bit of a defensive stance from superior esports going into the 16 minute mark uh but like we said it's a battle of patience you know both teams were in this exact situation in the last game and with a battle what is going to happen in terms of clashes as if they have to be patient you do know luminous lord is spawning in 70 seconds uh, maybe clearing a little bit of the lanes but making sure not to be over aggressive because just losing one player especially this late in the game is you know definitely a big move on both sides yeah, you don't want to be caught out there. We do see Deuce Knights trying to get a little bit of vision. Does want to know when this purple buff is going down. But right now, we do see the lanes being pushed there. Deuce Knights trying their best to kind of push it in. I, I kind of question that because I'd like to freeze the lanes. You want to make Superior Esports come out from this turtle position. Keep those lanes back as far back as possible so that they need to venture out into their jungle to try to get some type of gold. Uh, because right now, they're just kind of allowing them to kind of gold up here uh and ling does possess the ability to kind of split push very well so i mean you can send him or send send anna out there to go ahead split push these and still have ling to be able to get back to the lord in time for the fight we do see, you know, a little bit, like you said, uh, of the Battle of Lanes right now, but leaning in the favor of Deuce Knights as Luminous is spawning in 15 seconds. Man, what a game by both sides. Though. I feel like even though Deuce Knights leads and kills, it's been pretty much neck and neck. As soon as, you know, one thing looks in the favor of one team, it does go the other way. So you never really know what to expect, but there goes that Luminous Lord spawning in. Yeah, we do see both sides kind of jockeying for position, checking the bushes, Kings kind of going around there, baiting out this Lord, looking for a fight, especially since we do see that Paquito up at the top kind of split off from the rest of the team. You, uh, I love that they see that, and they're going to go ahead and push on a little bit more, but taking a little bit too much time right now. And we do see Trix coming in a little bit wide there. Kira actually might be in trouble down there. Temp Blades uh, does come out there. Immortality activated. Real world manipulation is down, but multi roses on top of them as Whoa. King gets taken down up at the top we have a disengagement here they are trying their best to get away Anna is in pursuit is he going to be able to land he does come down that immortality is activated on Anna so she is going to go ahead and disengage are they going to go ahead and stick with this push or maybe go back to this lord which would probably be the safer option yeah, you never know, you know, I mean, in terms, they are down three players right now, only leaving Eve and El Sinji, but they are going for the tower as Sotaro is able to take him out, and Multiro is taking out El Sinji. Do we see an ending, a wipeout over there for the side of Superior Esports as Deuce Knight does take the game.
Yeah, and, and what an ending there too. Deuce Knights in a very Victory. commanding role. Maybe caught off guard a little bit last game. We do see Anna on this Ling. 10, 1, and 7 right now. What a mechanically great.